Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we got an interesting one for you because we're gonna be building a gaming PC, but we're calling this the PC that you probably shouldn't build. And it's not because these parts are absolutely garbage. It's just because for the price that we paid for the GPU and the CPU, you can get some better stuff and we'll talk about that. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 license. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below, and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info, and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code, and it is fully legit, it will work out of the box, and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros, and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below, and use code TB20 to save money on checkouts. So realistically, this build is actually pretty good on paper. It's just the price that you're paying for the GPU and the CPU are pretty expensive comparatively speaking to the parts that you could get for a better price. So if you check the links in the description down below, they will be affiliate links, they will help us out. We will actually be replacing the CPU and GPU with better components that we recommend, but everything else in this build is pretty good. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about each individual part, more specifically the CPU and GPU, and exactly why you don't really wanna buy these and offer some advice to these companies to be like, hey, this should be priced a little bit lower. Let's do that. So for the CPU, we have the Ryzen 3 4100, which is one that we have I don't even know if we've ever actually mm -hmm. used this before, but it's a four core eight thread. Kind of think of something like the 3100X or 3300X, but probably worse performance and it doesn't support gen four. So it's just kind of like an oddball CPU that I feel like it was, you know, 4000 series. It should have been better than the 3000, but it's technically not. So that's really what makes this one weird is the fact that 3000 series really hasn't been a good deal for a while either. So we really recommend going with like a 10100 F or even a 11400 really, because if you can get an 11400 or even a 12100, doesn't matter to something that supports Gen 4 out of the box for a similar price and it'll perform way better than this. Now for the motherboard and most of everything else besides the GPU, we're just gonna be talking about them like normal because we recommend them, they're pretty good. This is the Asus Prime B550M-A, has four RAM slots, it has two four pin connectors so you could really go up to like Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9 if you even wanted to, two M.2s, so it really has everything you need. It's a pretty good board for it being a micro ATX board. And then for the RAM, we have this Oli 16 gig kit. It's CL16, 3200 megahertz, and it's two by eight, so not RGB, pretty good stuff. We're not spending extra money where we don't need to. Even the case we went pretty cheap on, but it still looks pretty good aesthetic-wise. Now for the storage, we have this Mushkin Pilot E. Now this one might be a little bit hard to find, so we'll have, probably have some alternate links, but it's actually a pretty good NVMe SSD. It's actually a little bit faster than like the Redline lineup. It's Gen 3 because this does not support Gen 4, so you do not want to get a Gen 4 because it either won't work or to run in Gen 3, and it's just extra money wasted. Now for the graphics card. This is the 1630, which you've probably seen videos about already. It's a card that NVIDIA released that just kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, similar performance to something like a 1080 Ti, but this thing sells for $200 new. The price just doesn't make a whole lot of sense anymore. Maybe during the pandemic, I kind of understood $200, but um, with all the shortages kind of out of the way and the used market being flooded with stuff like 1070s and stuff for about the same price or less actually, this card just really doesn't make any sense anymore. But of course, we're still gonna test into games with that 4100 and see what it can actually do. Now for the power Power supply, we have the EVGA 600 uh, BA. So of course we like EVGA power supply, it's 80 plus bronze, very basic unit, 600 watts is pretty overkill for this in all honesty, but when you're looking at these uh, power supplies, the 600 to 500 watt difference in price is really not there. So might as well get some upgrade room in the future with the extra wattage. Now for the case, we have the Thermaltake Versa H18 Tempered Glass. So Tempered Glass, budget case, doesn't want to come into the fans, but you know what? We got it covered with our friends over at PC Bros. You know our business where we sell gaming PCs like this one. Um, we have these V-True ARGB fans. We're going to load up two in the front, one in the back, and uh, yeah, this thing is going to be nice and beautiful with RGB, and hopefully it performs well, even though you probably shouldn't build it. So let's build it.
All right guys, we're starting off this with Apex Legends and as you can see, we're at medium settings, 2.8 sensitivity. Why did I show you guys the sensitivity? That doesn't matter, you guys don't care. Uh, we got the FOV cranked up because we got to see all the enemies coming from miles away. And if you were to get this combo, it's not like, you know, you got ripped off or anything. You just really didn't get any of the best deals. Yeah. So that's that's really the main takeaway here. If you just spend like $50 more or you're willing to get something used, for example, you can literally get double this FPS, no problem. Oh, oh God. Almost. Yes. Super Weenie Hut Jr. Can't catch me right. Can't catch me. I'm untouchable. I'm untouchable. Can't get me. Can't get me. Oh god. <laughs> I can't hit you. Oh. Can't get me. You can't get oh, me. Oh no. Oh no. I'm a freak. Oh. I'm a freak. <laughs> Card should be priced at like what a 1030, like an uh, like an actual 1030 up. Which which you're going for like a little over a hundred. Yes. I mean, yeah, like something between, because it really does feel like a 1050. Yeah, like, it, it just feels like what it is. Yeah, but yeah, there's that. Let's try some more games. Let's do it. All right, gamers, we are now in Fortnite and we're running Epic View Distance, everything on low in performance mode. And I imagine this game's gonna run fine. It's Fortnite, especially when you're on performance mode. You're really not gonna have any problems getting 60 plus FPS, 100 plus FPS. The main thing will be, are there stutters? Um, some not so good CPUs will uh, tend to make Fortnite stutter, especially at higher frame rates. So we'll see how that holds up. But yeah, Apex wasn't amazing, getting below 60 at medium settings, especially when we built a $500 PC with the 1070 and i3 that was getting well above that. So in terms of price to performance, right now, like we expected, this build just really ain't delivering what we want it to. I really want this person and they're dead. But yeah, 100 plus FPS, kind of what I expected. It was gonna perform fine in a game like Fortnite, but you know. A lot of budget PCs nowadays can't do that. I dare somebody to come after me and my boy. My doggy boy. He thinks he's bold. Hello. Hi there, Bozo. Ah, oh, what? I killed him and then another guy killed me. That was disappointing, but performance was fine and tilted. Um, 100 plus FPS sometimes in the 200s. Not too shabby. Um, we do have another game though. We have a couple of other games actually. That will definitely be more demanding for that 1630 because in a game like this, we're really relying on the 4100, which I think is not nearly as bad as like the 1630 in terms of value for money. Um, it's really just, you should just get an i3 10100 instead because it's cheaper. So let's go to the next game. All right guys, we're playing some Battlefield 5 and we're on low settings, getting around 50 FPS at the start. Battlefield's a pretty demanding AAA title, so you really shouldn't expect too much on a lower end, like, you know, $600 system, but I definitely think some of the other systems we've done to five to 700 have definitely done better than this. Do it, snipe him off. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Ooh Oh, he got me, I'm pissed. Oh, sh God, freaking dang it. Oh God, oh, there's so many people. Killing him? Oh. Man, I don't know how I'm not dead. I've missed every shot. Oh, man. Wow. His gun was more powerful. Mm -hmm. All right, playing one more life. See how this goes, guys. Oh! Wait, did I kill him? I think I did. Woo -wee. Oh, that's a tank. They're trying to run me over. Oh, my gosh. What do we even do about this? 
Oh, all right. I got hit by a frag grenade rifle. All right, guys, Battlefield 5. Um, hey. Once again, everything was playable, just not great for the price that we spent. Let's try a game that won't run great, Cyberpunk. I'm playing Cyberpunk right now, and uh, the performance ain't great. It's kind of what I expected. 1080p, low, with Fidelity FX. Getting 40, oh, whoa, we hit 60. But yeah, it's it's getting dips down into the 30s, 29, 38, so not great. This game actually, surprisingly, the 4100 is the bottleneck at this point. It's at 100%, which I was not expecting. But you know when we play this game, we gotta do what we gotta do the people of this city. Uh, and it's not what I just did. I just crashed off the bike. That was not what I wanted. Whoa, this right. random civilian just pulled out a gun on me. I don't even know if I'm gonna survive very long. All right, sir, I need your vehicle. Just like this performance, oh my lord, 30 FPS cyberpunk is not a good time. Especially with all these like screen tears and low quality mumbo jumbo. Okay, we're losing our star. I don't I don't feel like trying to earn that back again. But yeah, Cyberpunk, not great. Below 60 FPS and just kind of, that's the recap of this computer. Obviously when we built it, we knew that the combination to make a lot of sense, especially it's $600. And I really think it all comes down to pricing. The 1630 has a GPU competitor on the used market that would just be way better than it for cheaper. And the 4100 has a CPU on the market that is not way better than it, but about the same for cheaper. So if pricing was adjusted to these parts, they'd still be pretty good, but it really just comes down to pricing. So yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and uh, finish the benchmarks up and uh, wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking the PC that you probably shouldn't build. And yeah, I mean, we concur. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I was surprised to see the Ryzen 4100 almost seemed like it had a little bit more headroom. I think it's a little bit closer to a Ryzen 3100 than I thought it was. But yeah, the 1630 just, it feels like a 1050 and that's about it. Yeah, the pricing just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It all comes down to that. If this stuff was released at better prices and didn't have competition below it, that just makes it seem not worth it, then it would be something that we'd recommend. But yeah, obviously it's not there yet. But if you do want to see some of the parts from today's video, links in the description down below. We'll be fill links that will help us out. Let us know if there's any other out there gaming PCs or weird combinations you want to see here on the channel and we may consider doing them. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Goodbye. So if you want to shop at our PC selling business, PC Bros, we'll definitely get you a PC that doesn't bottleneck and that's really weird on pricing. But this one, we do have to sell. So of course, it's going to be a really good price over there. PCBros.tag is where we sell awesome gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and a bunch of stuff we feature here on the channel. If you use code ToastyBros21 checkout, you can save 2% on maybe this computer. It probably already be gone, but maybe this computer. PCBros.tag, see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.